It's hard to have a financial tracking application which is full of numbers without any sort of visualization of that data. In fact, users will expect you to have all kinds of charts and graphs to illustrate where their money is going to get the big picture at a glance. Whether it's a monthly breakdown of income versus expenses, a category breakdown further filtered by date, or even something as simple as a budget progress bar to easily see whether they're nearing their custom defined threshold. Your app needs to be incredibly simple to understand and use. With that said, not all charts are created equal. And while you don't need to be a data scientist, you still need to be strategic in how you implement charts. Which visualizations will tell the best story about the user's financial health? Will the user be able to manipulate the chart to zoom in or zoom out on a date range? How about filtering by accounts like credit cards, checking, savings, investment, retirement? And comparisons, can they see how this month compared to the last? Finally, chart elements in Bubble are likely going to be referencing your database or maybe even an external data source through an API call or a plugin. And if you haven't structured your data sources properly to efficiently power that element, you could end up with a workload heavy system or flat out a system that doesn't work at all. Financial tracking apps have the potential to be a part of a user's daily routine. It needs to work, it needs to be reliable, and most of all, it needs to help your users. They're coming to this app to maintain budgets, to make payments on time, to save up for something important in their life. Help them help themselves by making it easy to gather the insights they need with smart data structures and meaningful visualizations.